The honeybee crisis at this time is worldwide. We are losing honeybees all over the world. In America, we are losing about 30 to 32 percent each year. I'm afraid that the commercial beekeepers that truck hundreds, thousands of colonies, millions of colonies around the country for pollination services, that this is going to be a, a dead end because that is definitely not sustainable. And of course, when you think that one step further, then our food supply is not sustainable. Pollination, of course, means that we have fruit and berries and broccoli. A lot of what we eat depends on this pollination. So here we have a crisis that actually is a blessing in disguise because a, a crisis wants to let us know that we have to change something. Should we do something for that being? Not only ask what do I get out of that being, but what does this being actually need? And right now the honeybee needs our protection, our care. I would say everybody can be part of that. People can omit the pesticides and herbicides on their front and back lawns. They can plant annual flowers, perennial flowers in small plots, plots even on your balcony, even in a little pot. You can buy honey from bees that is more expensive, but where the bees are treated better. You can buy as much as possible organically certified vegetables, because these organic farmers are not allowed to use all these pesticides and herbicides. And one can become a beekeeper. It's not that hard to become a beekeeper. And I can assure you, once you start, you're probably hooked for life. It's very addictive to become a beekeeper because that loving relationship that we have with that insect is very important. And so now is the time to say, okay, for the last hundred years, we've asked what makes the honeybee profitable, as an advertisement said. And now is the question, what do you need? It's an absolute necessity now to look at what we are doing in nature, how we treat the animals, and I mean all the domestic animals, how we treat the cows and the pigs and the chickens and the goats, and all of them are suffering because of how we keep them, how we treat them. These beings will give us what we need if we give them what they need. We have the choice to either learn and change in freedom or we are going to be forced to change. And you all know that to change without being forced is a lot more fun.